we're going to walk you through everything you need to know about Prosper Personal Loans. We've spent years in the lending industry and we track dozens of lenders. We want to bring that experience to you so you can decide whether you want to use Prosper to consolidate your debt, make a big purchase, or cover a monthly shortfall. Prosper started its life as a peer-to-peer -peer lender. The idea was that individuals with money could directly lend to people who needed money. Things are a little different now. You can still invest through Prosper, but the actual lending comes through WebBank. So how much can you borrow from Prosper? Prosper's minimum loan amount is $2,000, and their maximum loan amount is $50,000. There are only a handful of lenders that will offer personal loan amounts above $50,000. You can take out multiple Prosper loans, but your combined outstanding principal cannot exceed $50,000. Also, you are only likely to qualify for a second loan if you've been paying on time on the first loan for at least six months. Their loan terms range from two to five years. Five years is a pretty standard maximum term for loans of this size. Two years feels like it might be still a little bit too long if you're only borrowing $2,000. The longer your term, the lower your monthly payment, but the more in overall interest you'll end up paying. Prosper does not charge a prepayment penalty, so you should always strive to pay your loan off early. If you have a term of three years or more, you can save a lot of money in interest by making extra principal payments in the first year of your loan. To get a personal loan from Prosper, I would think you'd need at least fair credit. For smaller loan amounts, you will probably need to have a credit score of 620 or better. For more substantial loan amounts, you will need good to excellent credit. I would think that you'd need a credit score above 680. But Prosper doesn't just look at credit score. They actually create their own rating for each applicant. The rating takes into account credit factors like credit scores, payment history, and debt to income ratio. It also obviously considers your income, but the rating also considers the purpose of the loan. The rating you get will determine how much they will lend you, but it will also determine what APR they offer you. Their lowest APR is 8.99% while their highest APR is 35.99%. Only about 10% of their borrowers can qualify for their lowest rate. I believe that their average interest rate is 19%. If you have fair credit, your interest rate is likely to be above 30%. If you think you might struggle to get approved for the loan that you need, Prosper will allow you to include a cosigner. A cosigner is someone who agrees to repay the loan if you fail to. A cosigner can really only help out if their credit profile is stronger than yours. If you can get the loan that you need on your own, don't include a cosigner. There's no reason to entangle a loved one in the process. The rating Prosper assigns you will also play a role in the size of the origination fee that they charge you. Their origination fees range from 1% up to 8%. I think any origination fee above 5% is getting to be on the high side, but 8% is still not the highest I've seen in the industry. The origination fee is a percentage of the borrowed amount, and it comes out of the proceeds of the loan. Say you borrow $10,000 with a 5% origination fee. That fee is $500, so you will receive $9,500, but you'll still need to repay the $10,000. The fee is included in the APR, so if you have a loan with a low APR but a high origination fee, it's still a low-cost loan. But you don't get a reimbursement for the origination fee if you pay the loan off early. So all things being equal, it's better to have a lower origination fee. Prosper charges several different fees. If you are late on a payment, they will charge you $15 or 5% of the late amount, whichever is greater. That's a fairly reasonable late fee, but you do need to know that some lenders don't charge a late fee at all. If Prosper attempts to take your payment with an ACH draw, but you don't have enough funds, they will charge you a failed payment fee of $15. If you don't want to make your payment digitally, they will charge you a check payment fee of $5 or 5%. Prosper's personal loans are unsecured installment loans. That means that you don't have to put up any collateral to secure the loan. If you fail to repay the loan, 
they can't come after any of your assets. Although that doesn't mean they'll just walk away without a fight. However, Prosper also offers credit that is secured by your home equity. They offer home equity lines of credit and home equity loans. Traditionally, credit secured by your home equity will have a lower interest rate and offer you higher loan amounts. So what can you use a personal loan from Prosper for? Lenders don't usually restrict how you can use a personal loan. And I think that's true of Prosper as well. But they do ask for the purpose of the loan during the application process. Your answer will play a role in the rating that they assign you. Common uses of a Prosper loan include debt consolidation, home improvement projects, small business funding, student loans, vehicles like motor vehicles, RVs or boats, household expenses, large purchases, medical expenses, taxes, vacation, or special occasions. I would hope that if you intended to use the loan to consolidate credit card balances or other debt, that they would weight that in your favor. Some lenders will actually pay off your other creditors for you with the proceeds of the loan, but Prosper will not do that. When a lender doesn't do that, it can mean that it will be harder to get approved by them. This is because they don't take into account that the new loan won't change your debt to income ratio. After all, the new loan will replace your other debts and not just stack on top of them. It's unclear whether Prosper's rating will give you credit for that. Let's summarize Prosper's personal loans. They offer pretty standard loan amounts and pretty standard term lengths. They have a good minimum APR, but their maximum APR is nothing special. They will charge an origination fee and it can be quite high, so it will depend on what they offer you. They might offer smaller loans to people with fair credit, but they are more likely to approve people with good to excellent credit. They will accept co-signers, but they don't directly pay off your other debt if you want to use their loan to consolidate. They charge more fees than most lenders, but none of the fees are exorbitant on their own. Prosper could be a good lender for you, but it will entirely depend on what they offer you. That's why we always recommend that before you accept a loan, you shop around. Every lender has a different algorithm for approving people. One might deny you while a better lender will give you an offer. You owe it to yourself to get the best deal you can. If you can, get two or three approvals before you decide which loan to take. At the Yukon Project, we've tried to make shopping around easy. If you go to our Marketplace page, you can apply to any one of our featured lenders. Behind the scenes, we'll check your rate with up to 40 other lenders. Our partners use a soft credit check, so applying won't hurt your credit score. We will show you all of the approved offers so you can make the best decision for you. If you have any questions about Prosper Personal Loans that we didn't address, leave a comment below and we'll try to get it answered. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching.